Okay, uh, part two. So, boat is now off the trailer, um, sitting on jack stand there. Some cradles I made in the back. Um, so far, we've made some pretty good progress here. Here's uh, most of the whole front, all the way up to about right there. Um, the entire belly is now done. So if I can scoot under here, you can see where my bunks have been riding, which is why we need to get her off the trailer. So, so basically from there out um, along the back there, and we'll be done. Uh, probably less than a third left to go. And the uh, all the bottom paint will be off, and the spray-on bed liner will be on. A uh, little information from the last video. I uh, found out that Harbor Freight actually sells a spray-on bed liner as well, basically like the stuff I've been using. Um, but it's like literally three dollars a can cheaper, and if you get their stuff with a twenty percent off coupon, you pay obviously even less. Uh, so I've applied that on the bottom stuff goes on just the same as the other stuff same texture Got some on my hands. The stuff does not come off um, So let's hope it sticks to the metal, but again, I'm going to bare metal um, Pressure washing acetone wash self etching primer and then spray on bed liner, so uh, See how it goes uh, so far so good just time-consuming as always so I made these cradles that um, basically contour to the hull more or less looks like that one down there is not even touching but I'm also not on level ground over here um, but again you can see all that paint that still has to come off and then you can see where I've already sprayed so like I said a little less than a third to go I've got about 20 days to get this boat done for my first trip of the year when we head out to the Straits of Juan de Fuca and uh, we're going for Lane Cod and uh, sea bass and whatnot for four days and trying to get everything done. Um, I gotta do a little repair to the top up there. You can see there's a tear, I hope you can see it. And get that fixed, you know, and whatnot. I mean, it's a lot of little stuff. Overall, she's doing good. I mean, I love the boat. It handles great, handles the big water. Um, with that 150 on the back, this thing scoots. So just gotta keep her protected, do what I can, you know, many more years of use out of it. So I hope you guys are couple of you that are following me on this project um yeah so here's number two right now the second video of the series um the third one is going to be when i'm done um back on the trail and ready to go fishing and then i will do an update after that um expect one next month we just started april so may i'll post another video of how this undercoating or this bed liner spray did after a four-day trip up to the straits of Juan de fuca in four days of salt water and whatnot and we'll see where we are from there so thanks for watching and uh i'll let's guess uh wait for the next video and we'll talk to you then thanks bye